Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to study basic concepts of probability. Let us define probability. Probability is a measure that is associated with how certain we are of outcomes of a particular experiment or activity. An experiment is a planned operation carried out under controlled conditions. Random experiment is an act whose outcome cannot be predicted with certainty. For example, tossing of a coin is a random experiment. Though we know that the outcome of the experiment will result either head up or tail up, we cannot certain what it will be. Other examples of random experiments are rolling a dice and football game. A result of an experiment is called an outcome. An event is any combination of outcomes. Uppercase letters like A and B represent events. For example, if the experiment is to flip one fair coin, event A might be getting at most one head. The probability of an event A is written P of A. Another example, in the random experiment of rolling a die, coming of one is an event. Coming of two is the other event. And coming of even number is another event. The first two events are called simple events because they correspond to only single outcome. Coming of an even number is called a compound event because it corresponds to more than one outcome of the experiment, namely 2, 4, and 6. We can combine events to form new events using the various set operation. The first one is A, U, B. And this is read as A union B. A union B is the event that occurs if and only if A occurs or B occurs or both. This is sometimes called OR event. For example, let event A whose outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And event B whose outcomes are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A union B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Notice that 4 and 5 are not listed twice. The second operation is A inverted U B. This is read as A intersect B. A intersect B is the event that occurs if and only if A occurs and B occurs. 
sometimes this is called end event for example let a be an event whose outcomes are 1 2 3 4 and 5 and event b whose outcomes are 4 5 6 7 and 8 a intersect b equals 4 and 5 and these are the outcomes that are common to event a and event b the third is a complement and we read this as complement of A. This is the event that occurs if and only if A does not occur. Sometimes this is denoted by A apostrophe and read as A prime. For example, let S be an event whose outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And let A be a subset of this set S, and the elements of event A are 1, 2, 3, and 4. A complement is an event whose elements are 5 and 6. This A complement has elements of set S that are not element of set A. The sample space of an experiment is the set of all possible outcomes and is denoted by S. Examples number one in tossing a fair coin, the sample space is S equals h and t where h equals head and t equals tail are the outcomes example 2 in tossing two fair coins the sample space is s equals h h h t t h and t t Example 3. In rolling a die, the sample space is S equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. In throwing two dice, the sample space is given here. The sample space starts with 1, 1 and ends up into 6, 6. Example 5. In a pack of cards, there are four suits, which are hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades, and 13 cards for each suit, that is, from ace through king. There are 52 outcomes in the sample space. Each element of sample space is called sample point. Example, in rolling a die, sample space S equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Number 4, that is the number 4, is a sample point. Let us define equally likely experiment. Equally likely means that each outcome of an experiment occurs with equal probability. Example, if you toss a fair coin, a head and a tail are equally likely to occur. Let us define 
mutually exclusive events. A and B are mutually exclusive events if they cannot occur at the same time. This means that A and B do not share any outcomes. Example, let event A has elements small a, small b, and small c. Let event b, whose outcomes are 2, 4, and 6. We say that a and b are mutually exclusive events such that a intersect b equals 0. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.